Hey everybody, this is Adam Claremont from BreakingAudio.com and AdamClaremont.com. Today I want to show you how trashing your prefs doesn't always have to be a royal pain in the butt. It doesn't have to take forever. There's a simple solution. So I'm going to share that with you. And if you like tips just like that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Hit the bell so you don't miss any videos that we're releasing that are just like this. Pro Tools tips, Ableton tips, how to be a better engineer, all that great stuff at breakingaudio.com. All right, so let me dive into my screen and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so I recently came to the conclusion that I needed to trash my preferences. And I know because I see in the forums that so many people are so hesitant to do this because it's a big pain in the butt. You've got to reset all of your settings, your IO and all your preferences and who wants to do all that and take the time. Well, let me show you, it doesn't actually have to take all that time, okay? So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go through the process of trashing the prefs. You can Google that, There's that's a simple thing. We all know how to do that if you don't. Like I said, just Google it. It changes all the time, depending on if you're a PC or Mac or what version of Pro Tools. So I'm not gonna get into that because it'll change. Anyway, what I will do is tell you that I just trashed my prefs. And now I'm going to show you, I'm gonna walk you through what I've done to make this uh, a simpler process for my life. So here's a Google Doc, uh, a Google folder that I've created uh, called Adams Pro Tools Docs. And I've got in that Adams Pro Tools Preferences. So in here, I've got a doc that says trash preferences because I can't remember a thing to save my life. I literally make a doc that tells me where I need to go to trash my preferences. So I got this quite a while ago and thankfully Pro Tools hasn't changed what I need to do for my version of Pro Tools just yet. But again, Google your version uh, to make sure that it's right for you. So I've got that here, so it's really quick and easy to access. So I've done that, I've restarted the computer now. And now what I've also gotten here is every single one of the preference uh, preference windows, I've created a screenshot that captures my personal preferences. So all I need to do is, here, let me try and configure this so we can see the whole screen. If I grab this and move it over here, yeah, something like that. And if I go into my preferences, move this over here, yeah, so display, you see this right here? It's display. Okay, perfect. So all you have to do is just copy, you know, what, what I see here and put it over here. So that needs to be checked. What else am I missing? Category type. No, this needs to be category manufacturer. Uh, what else am I missing? Always. No, that's good. Track type. This is good. Cool. So now I'm going to go to operation and go back over here. Hidden arrow. I'm on operation. What am I missing here? It's just look at what's different, right? Um, this I know I want 30. And I want to make a new session every two minutes. And everybody's going to have different preferences. It's all about how you work. But the point is, it's this simple to just get it done really quickly. And, I, you know, it's taking me even longer than it would because I'm explaining it. But you can see how quick I'm moving through here, right? So a uh, couple things I'll show you. I'm not going to go through this whole thing right now. But a couple things that I'll show you um, that might help you to get going with this. And, again, I mentioned I don't remember... A thing to save my life. So I actually wrote a, a, a doc to tell myself how to create uh, the screen capture. So it's not the full window. You can just draw the window that you want. And this is how I do it on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you know, Google that. It's there. Um, but all you need to do, uh, press, press Shift Command 4 and the space bar. So I'll do it with you. Just kind of show you really quickly um, how we do it. So uh, Shift Command 4. And see this little crosshairs and then you just go around here once it's right and you drag and as soon as I let up my mouse it's going to take the shot and you see down here that so I've got the shot now so uh, two other tips if, if you want to make this go possibly a little bit quicker you could use um, you could use this in conjunction with another Google Doc that tells you uh, like you could do like an actual Google Doc where you write out okay under display I need to change so that um, this is checked, always display marker colors or whatever it is. So you can really quickly go down that list. I'll show you one other thing that maybe makes it go even quicker. And I think I'm actually going to do this for myself. Um, I actually just thought of this. Um, so if you open, again, I'm on a Mac, but if you open this up, um, if you open this up in preview, what I could do What I could do is make these arrows. So like, for example, um, 
you know, put these arrows right next to everything that uh, you need to draw your attention to. So you don't have to constantly be shifting back and forth from this dock to that dock and missing an arrow. You can literally just make these arrows. <laughs> so your eye goes right to it. So anyway, my point is eventually, if you work in Pro Tools, you're going to need to trash your preferences. I know there's people out there who say on a Mac, you never have to. That's not my experience. I used to be on a PC. My experience was definitely you needed to trash the preferences every now and then. And what a pain in the butt until you've got this help. Now, if you've followed any of the videos I've created on breakingaudio.com or my own channel, Adam Claremont channel, you know I don't want to do anything twice that I don't have to. I'm in a constant pursuit of the simplest, most efficient life. This is another step toward that. So it's a lot less stressful. I highly encourage you to just take the time next time. Um, copy your preferences windows, make the folder. And also another tip is every time I update, I make a new folder. So you see um, old preferences. So, you know, you know, I, I used to not do this until it was a problem. So now every time I update to a new version of Pro Tools, uh, I've got this to go back on. So if I ever need to roll back, you know, I've still got those preferences the way that I want them. I don't have to like recheck anything. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Give us a comment. That helps out everything a whole lot. BreakingAudio.com. And I'll check you out on the next video. Thanks again. Bye. <laughs>